I'm gonna go to my trailer now that you guys are set up. <laughs> As far as medium is concerned, I'm pretty much across the board. I don't really, I don't really have one sole instrument that I work with. I think between doing street murals and doing illustration work and doing, I guess even graphic design stuff lately, it, it doesn't really matter the medium. Whatever, whatever fits. If it works, it works. Give me some ketchup and a napkin and I'll give you something with that, so. The other companies lately that I've been working with that have been mind-blowing is I've been doing a lot of work with Live Nation. The client list has been like Kiss, Beastie Boys, Foo Fighters, Nirvana. I'm actually working for Outkast right now, so I'm not complaining about anything. <laughs> I'm very, very excited about that stuff. The key to success as an artist is it's impossible to really pinpoint that. It's like, how does a band get signed? You know, they just, you meet the right people, you do the right thing, you keep your head down, you keep your focus together and you go forward. It's once you get to the point where you can make money and not have a job, uh, or say you have to put on pants in the morning, I don't have to put on pants. I wanna keep that job going because I don't wanna have to put on pants and work and sit in traffic. As far as Sam Flass is concerned, I do shop there a lot. I'm not really one to order it online because I need to try things out. You need to physically see how it goes and they've actually been really helpful with like, with the pens that I use, a lot of the cranks, a lot of the Montanas, a lot of the, um, a lot of the Prismacolor products that come through, the pens. The full-time printing has kind of changed my, my uh, financial situation a tad bit, which is nice. But no, they've just, they've done a lot to, to, to show me new products and help me out, so. Yeah, I'll 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 behind I'll lay down in traffic for them. So yeah, go to Sam Flax. I go there. Go there and buy weird stuff. Like I just bought this bacon wallet from Sam Flax because I thought it was ridiculous. I bought my horse mask there, which is even more ridiculous. I could put that on if you want me to. This is a story that has nothing to do with my art career, but it's part of the personality that continues the art to keep growing. So I go down to Melrose and I go into this store and there's a leather jacket for sale. I walk over to the guy behind the counter and I bullshitted him and said, you know, I don't want to make this a big deal, but I'm actually Jay Leno's son and I'd like to know if you can give me a deal on this jacket, and if you can, then I can talk to NPC about you guys possibly doing some um, wardrobe design for the show. Kind of meet in the middle, what do you say? Now, all that guy had to do was ask me for my license and see that my last name wasn't Leno, <laughs> but he didn't. Because I guess I really look like him, which is gross. And um, so he sold me the jacket for like 250 bucks. I think he gave me a pair of socks too. And then um, that night, I go to meet with Nicole to have dinner, and I'm wearing my red leather jacket. I'm talking about how I just hustled this dude. And the guy that we're having dinner with is the head writer for The Tonight Show. I mean, what's the odds of that, right? I mean, it's crazy. And then the writer thinks that I'm nuts. He's like, we want to put you on the show on Friday. I said, okay, so that gives me Wednesday, Thursday to call every single person I've ever met under the sun to let them know to stay in on Friday because I'm gonna be on the Tonight Show. What piece of advice would I give to artists in Orlando? Keep your nose clean. <laughs>